What's up, dude? <laughs> uh, my name's Marty. I'm here with NextLevelGuitar.com. Totally stoked to be here. Uh, it's uh, it's a privilege. And I wanted to talk about um, just some some funk ideas, some funk concepts. Um, basically, what I was doing was I was uh, combining parts of the blues scale, uh, and we're in the key of E. Uh, so I was combining the E minor pentatonic or the E minor blues scale with um, the E seven sharp nine chord. Uh, a lot of uh, guitar players also call this the Hendrix chord. I usually just say, yo, it's the E Hendrix chord. Nice! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but anyway, if, you know, if we're going to get all you know, technical-like, uh, we would call it an E7 sharp 9. The cool thing about the E7 sharp 9 is you got the low E string in there. You know? So that's always really cool to just have that low note in there. So um, basically what I'm doing is I am playing the chord, and we'll talk about the, the uh, rhythmic ideas and the right hand concepts, but um, just the basic overview here is I'm taking this E7 sharp 9, and I'm funking it up, and then I'm also combining a really cool little blues box right here. Now if you wanted to know exactly what I was doing, I'm using the E blues scale, or the E minor pentatonic with the blues note added. And the root is actually right here on the seventh fret on the A string. So here's just a really cool little run. I'll show it to you. We can start uh, right here on the fifth fret. I use my first finger, and I'm going to do this little blues run right here. Just like that, starting on the fifth fret, six, seven. And then the fifth fret again on the A string, first finger, and then a whole step up. And that's the root. Okay? Right there. So here's what we have so far. Okay? And then it keeps going. Same idea as on the A string, on the D string. Okay? But then we also have the blues note right there. We also could actually even keep going up a whole step here. Okay, so if you have a few blues licks in this little box, uh, here's one. Um, okay, here it is again, real slow. What I can do is every time I hit this root, I can actually play the Hendrix chord instead. Okay, and so then we just can combine some lick ideas and every time I'm going to this, this root, I can hit the chord instead of just the note. Um, another thing I can do is I can hit the chord and then fill some blues ideas in just that, that little box right there. Um, here it is again. talk about, uh, you know, what's with funk, you know, uh, you, you go for a real staccato sound, you know, obviously, if I take this Hendrix chord, I'm like, you know, it's not, it doesn't have that, that groove idea, I suppose, of, of course, your head has to kind of funk it out a little bit, but, um, but the idea is you want really short attacks, um, and that term would be staccato. So um, there's a few ways to get it. One is with the chord, the chord hand, it's a lot of letting go 
of the chord, like... Okay, and this kind of happens in reggae, too, but if we take our right hand and we do a 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a... like this, and I'm taking the chord and I'm... if I press down, I go... It's not very, you know, not as funky sounding as opposed to if I just relax my left hand here. Exact same thing, but I'm not pressing down. I just press down. So there's going to be kind of one of those padding and circle things going on for a bit. You know, it can be a little tricky, but if you can keep this 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a get that going where uh, you kind of get to the point where you don't have to think about it anymore. You got that. Yeah, eat a sandwich, whatever. You can get that going. Then I can take my chord hand and go bump. Bup, 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 bup. Bump. Squeeze it. Bup, 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 bump. You can kind of feel the, the strings vibrating under your fingers a little bit to get that staccato sound. So I was going um, 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a. when I held out a little longer. That time was going uh, one, two, three, four, uh, uh, uh. Still doing the 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a the whole time. Okay. So, after you get that basic concept down with the 1E and a 2E and, a and the squeezing and relaxing with the hand, then we just want to just fill it up with... <laughs> any kind of little, little, just this little blues box, and you can use your own licks even um, that you've developed, uh, you know, along the way, but... Once again, this was Marty with NextLevelGuitar.com. Uh, come on by our site. We've got uh, a lot more to check out. We've got funk, blues, rock, everything you need for your guitar necessities. Um, there's a lot to check out. And, uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure to be here and show you guys some of the stuff that I like to do. So thanks a lot.